Thank you, Inspector Callahan. You beat Clint Eastwood hands down. That was great. My remarks are pretty short. Uh, I'm Fife Symington. In 1997, during my second term as governor of Arizona, I saw something that defied logic and challenged my reality. I witnessed a, a massive delta-shaped craft that silently navigated over the Squaw Peak uh, area in uh, North Phoenix uh, in the evening, and it was truly breathtaking. Uh, to my astonishment, it appeared that it appeared to be a solid structure. It was huge. Uh, it had a very distinctive uh, leading edge with embedded, uh, huge embedded lights uh, in it, uh, and it was just traveling quietly, made no sound, through the Arizona night sky. I still don't know what it was. As a pilot and a former Air Force officer, uh, I can definitively say that this craft did not resemble any man-made object that I'd ever seen. And it was certainly not high-altitude flares as uh, put out by the, uh, the Air Force at Luke Air Force Base because I've never seen flares fly in formation. The incident was witnessed by hundreds, if not thousands, of people uh, in Maricopa County and in southern Arizona, and my office was besieged with phone calls from very concerned uh, citizens. The growing hysteria intensified when the story broke nationally, and um, so I decided uh, to lighten the mood of the state, and I called a press conference uh, where I dressed up my chief of staff in a Martian outfit. Uh, it was meant to be a spoof, a good-natured spoof. Uh, that worked. We managed to lessen the sense of panic at the time, but uh, I also upset quite a few of my constituents. Well, I'd like now to set the record straight. I never meant to ridicule anyone. My office did make inquiries as to the origin of the craft, but to this day they remain unanswered. Eventually, the Air National Guard claimed responsibility, stating that their pilots had been dropping flares. They also, also, another individual from Tucson said that uh, A-10s had been flying in formation over Maricopa County, but those of us in the Air Force and those of you who know about A-10s, they're called the Warthog, it's a tank-killing aircraft, know that it's the noisiest machine in the sky and there's no way that a flight of A-10s could come over Maricopa County and be quiet. That just doesn't work. So we get these explanations that fly in the face of facts, explanations like weather balloons, swamp gas, military flares, and hardware and software problems. I was never happy with this silly, uh, silly explanation. There might, there might very well have been military flares in the sky that evening, but that sure wasn't what, uh, what I and what hundreds of my fellow citizens saw. Well, I now know that I'm not alone in witnessing something extraordinary. That's the bottom line. There are many high-ranking military, aviation, and government officials many of whom are here today who share my concerns. Some of them uh, have truly exceptional stories to tell. There's absolutely no doubt as to the veracity of what these men have told you. They have fought in wars, they have guarded top secret weapons, and they've flown countless passengers throughout the world's skies. Incidents like these are not going away. One year ago, Chicago's O'Hare Airport experienced a UFO event that made national and international headlines. Pilots and many other airline employees observed a metallic-looking disc hovering over the United Airlines terminal for several minutes, and then it shot straight up into the sky, cut a hole in the sky, disappeared. The FAA apparently did not investigate, dismissed the sightings as weather. We want the United States government to stop perpetuating the myth that all UFOs can be explained away in down-to-earth and conventional terms. Instead, our country needs to reopen its official investigation that it shut down in 1969. The United States government can no longer shun an international dialogue about this phenomenon, and we invite the government to work in cooperation with countries as represented on both sides of me here today. When it comes to events of this nature, dealing with the great unknown, we deserve, I believe, more openness and a serious pursuit of the facts by our government. Thank you very much.